we're drowning in a culture of selfishness. Some would say we live with narcissists of all types. The overt ones, the covert ones. They inhabit political offices, head gigantic corporations, and make decisions that affect millions. Native American people had a word for this. This mind virus. This dark shadow of human psychology. They called it Watiko. Watiko. Our only way out of this is to kill our Watiko. Kill the Watiko inside you. Face your darkness. Stare it down. Put it in its place. The human consciousness is connected collectively. We have our own individual shadow side and a reflected shadow among the masses. It is this collective darkness that has consumed cultures around the globe. To heal that, to break that up, to eliminate dark masters around our planet, we must dispel the darkness inside us. Turn to face your Wotiko. Do what you can to eliminate the virus of selfishness and self-centeredness. Eradicate the virus of jealousy and envy. Wotiko feeds off of dark energy and dark thoughts. Contempt, envy, greed, and the thirst for power and domination are the worst. They are fuel for this already destructive fire of Watiko. We've seen this throughout history. We are now at a tipping point. Stop giving the Watiko of collective consciousness power. Do not obey it. Stop letting it take you away. Stay focused in the moment, and above all, stay positive and loving. Be aware. Do not allow yourself to get pulled back in or manipulated in any way. When you love with awareness, it's not possible for the selfishness of Watiko to penetrate you. Understand your uniqueness and your importance among the whole. No, you are one of many. And your greatness lies in your humility and willingness to connect. Let it be so.